All right, so I asked you guys to comment your favorite puns and dad jokes, and now it's time to read them to the unwilling recipient. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. So the first one on the list was, hi giveaway, I'm dad. I thought it was funny. Hi everybody, today we are going to be doing something fun and exciting. I'm Kayla with McNerdy Costumes and Props and I am a huge advocate for all things geek and impacting the environment. I like to find fun and creative ways to use the materials around me that others would consider garbage to make anything and everything. My family and I, we love board games. Seriously, we have a whole wall in a room devoted to board games. So today I'm going to be making my own take of a board game that's fun for all ages, easily portable for whenever road trips become a thing again, and made from 100% recycled materials. Did you hear about the Italian chef who died? He passed away. We can only do so much. I'm sorry, we can only do so much. So sad that he ran out of time. Let us remain calm. <laughs> Sending thoughts. Oop. Sending thoughts to all of his family. His, his legacy there. will become a pizza history. <laughs> oh, please let it end. <laughs> oh, God. There's a lot of debate about checkers, or drops as it's known in other parts of the world, came to fruition, but there can be no doubt that it is one of the world's oldest games. Similar games were played in the days of ancient Egypt, and even mentioned in the writings of Homer and Plato in ancient Greece. In case you've been living under a rock your entire life, and you're just stumbling onto this crazy thing called YouTube, each player is given 12 flat disc pieces. The object of the game is to move diagonally and jump the other player's pieces to capture them. The game can only be won when all of a player's pieces have been taken. I'm going to be making these out of 100% recycled plastic and oh boy, is it gonna be a challenge. But first, I need to clean up my workshop. I collect, clean, and process plastic, metal, glass, and paper in my community for use in my projects and for further recycling. It is a big job and I've fallen behind. Each piece needs to be sanitized and have labels removed before being sorted according to the type of plastic it is, as each type varies wildly in its melting temperature and process. The pieces are then sorted by color, broken down, and shredded to make it easier to melt and mold into new shapes. I wish I could make a Lord of the Rings pun, but all the good ones are Gorn. Or Tolkien, you know, either or. Too sad. Totally sitting on the floor, aesthetically pleasing, I know. So my bench is, long story short, my bench is covered with fake blood because the boys really get into the super whole Halloween-y theme and it stained the crap out of my workbench. So I'm gonna have to clean that up and repaint it because it just looks awful. So down on the floor it is it's warmer down here with the heater anyway because it is freezing we got a ton of snow dumped on us and yeah all right so i've got this old hoe and my plan is to chop the handle up into little coin like tokens so my original plan was to use this this is a mold that i use i put the plastic in here and then the plunger just goes down in here and compresses the plastic However, as it says so nicely on the side, this is a three inch radius on the inside of here. And that is gonna be way too big for these coins. Like, you can see, like they're like the size of the palm of my hand. That's gonna be just too much, too big for the little checker tokens that I wanna make. I could use this for another project, but specifically for this one, I don't think it's going to work. So I decided to go with the wood of the hoe instead. Oh, that's riveted in there. I am warm now. Okay, so now I've got my dowel rod essentially here. I want each of the pieces to be about a half inch, uh, which is gonna be a little bit too thick to be checker pieces. However, I do want to account for having to sand them and for the thickness of the blade. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do and how I've kind of worked that out. 
All right, so I've marked a little line here where I need to line this dowel rod up and it won't be perfect, but it'll get me close. All right, so I managed to get 38 of these in here, which leaves a few extra for kings because each side gets 12 pieces. So leaves six extra for each side for kings. And yeah, let's get these sanded up. Sauron has never had good egg fried rice because one does not simply bring a walk into Mordor. <laughs> oh, come on! Why can't you laugh at that one? So a piece of string walks into a bar. The bartender says, we don't serve your kind here. The piece of string, feeling dismayed, walks out of the bar. He ties himself into a knot and frays his ends. He walks back into the bar and the bartender says, I already told you we don't serve your kind here. Aren't you that piece of string from before? And the piece of string says, I'm afraid not. <laughs> oh, that was cute, come on. All right. I got the two pieces right side together. I stitched all the way down, except for here up at the top side. Stitch all the way around the side, the bottom, the other side. Let's turn it inside out and see how it looks. Well, right side out, I guess. All right, there's the back side, and here's the front. It's not perfect, but I'm really happy with how it turned out, especially for not being much of a quilter. <laughs> All right, I've got this little bias strip attached and this is what's going to be the casing for the drawstring at the top. So here's the bag lining. Stitch up, I'm just gonna stitch up the top real quick. Oh my gosh, y'all, okay. So here's the bag so far. I'm really happy with the way that it looks. However, I went to insert the drawstring and this is what happened. It only stitched it to the outside. So when I inserted the drawstring and pulled it tight, all it did was bunch up the inside. Like it didn't do anything on the outside. So now what I need to do is go around and top stitch to make it a casing on the inside of here. All right, now I'm just gonna, I've got a safety pin here on the end of my drawstring here. I'm just gonna insert that. All right, well, we have another problem. <sighs> it's too thick to get the proper closure with the straw string. <sighs> what was Gandalf's favorite band? The Eagles. Yeah. Oh, come on, that was funny. Creative. All right, I added handles because I'm a problem solver and it turns out Crown Royal has really got that drawstring thing down, so.
torture. I think I know what my hell would be now. <laughs> Unending puns. I think they're funny. What's long, brown, and sticky? A stick. <laughs> I actually got a chuckle out of that one. Ah! Well, you got your winner, I guess. The stick one. I did. It is not the one that I thought you'd laugh at. But the stick got you? <laughs> Huge advocate. Blah, blah, blah. Costumes and props and... Oh, shit. And made from 100%... I think they're funny. So is your face. What's the point? Which one did you think I'd laugh at? The Eagles one. Yeah, it's not really funny. It's creative, but... Really I funny. thought it was funny. That or the walk into Mordor one. The whole simply can't walk in with whatever. You just heard too many of them. 